This particular demonstration is going to be about the use of a tourniquet and bleeding control. As we talked about, most bleeding can be stopped with direct pressure. We've called 911, we've put our gloves on, our body substance isolation. I'm going to demonstrate this on myself at this particular point. All right. So I probably wouldn't have BSI for myself, but I might. So I have a laceration, um, say it is on my arm, and I've pressed on it really, really hard. I can't get it to stop. I've taken some more gauze, I've opened this up, I put it on and I press really hard and I still can't get it to stop. That means that the bleeding is not going to stop with direct pressure and I need to put on a tourniquet. A tourniquet is a two inch piece, minimum piece of uh, fabric, and you're gonna wrap this around above the extremity at one of the pressure points. I'm looking to occlude the pressure point here in my brachial artery. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around. And I might do it more than once. And I'm gonna pull it very snug. And I'm gonna tie it off. So I have a knot. In the middle of the knot, I'm going to take something very simple, just a pen, and pull that tight. And this becomes what we call a windlass, a windlass. All right. And I'm going to twist this and keep twisting it. And as you see, it will tighten down. And I'm doing this on myself because I know when to stop when it hurts. On a person that's really bleeding and you can't get the bleeding stopped, you're going to keep doing this until the bleeding stops. Once the bleeding stops, then you're going to secure the end so that it doesn't come untwisted. And you're going to make a note, again, of the time you put this on. A tourniquet can stay on a patient's arm or leg for up to six hours and they can still re restore the circulation to the limb below. And you want to stop this bleeding because if it's bleeding that can't stop with direct pressure, your patient will bleed to death before possibly EMS could get to you to help.